Mario, Ruby, let's go. Thank you for joining us for another Candid Conversation. My name is Muriel. And my name is Ruby. Just because you see a smile does not mean everything is perfect. We all have a story. On the show, we discuss topics that are unspoken and taboo in our community. We are so excited to have a conversation with Ms. Gail Gardner. We will be discussing sexual abuse, healing, and Gail's Law. A state bill to create a statewide tracking system for sexual assault kits will now become law. Gail's law passed in the Senate this afternoon. That law is named after Gail Gardner of Orange County. She was attacked and raped inside her own home back in 1988. Her rape kit sat on the shelf for more than 30 years without being tested. Gail's law will create a tracking system to hopefully empower survivors with information on the evidence in their cases. Ms. Gail, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. We're Thank so happy you. to have so you. We're so happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Yes. Yes, Gail. You're looking good, too. Thank you. You are, too. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies. Appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Gail, we always start the show by asking the guests to tell us a little bit about their childhood because we believe that's what shapes who we become as adults. Oh, definitely, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was born and raised, as I tell people, I was born in Harlem and raised in the South Bronx. There okay. you go. You know, <laughs> um, but I grew up in the projects mm -hmm. um, in the Bronx. And um, during my childhood, at some point, I was, I can barely remember before we moved to the Bronx, mm -hmm. I can remember. Um, uh, and so I had an experience with childhood sexual abuse at a young age. Mm -hmm. um, and it put me in a place where um, I th didn't know it then, but now I can see where the behavior mm -hmm. was a problem in school. I was smart, mm -hmm. but I was always in, I was yeah. always in trouble. Yeah, you, were uh -huh. out, you were acting out, yeah. Out, mm -hmm. um, cutting myself by biting my nails down oh, to, the, to, mm -hmm. the, um, to the yeah, skin yes. where they would bleed. Yeah. Um, and I grew up with, I had two youngest brother and sister, and so I kind of, uh, I guess you could say, when you, when you can't, when you have to act out and you can't get the, um, the you find yourself in a position where you want to strike back or you yeah. want to mm -hmm. do something, you wind up being the bully, you yeah. know. And so, and you I became a bully. That. You can, yeah. You can. and the thing was, I was only a bully at home. Okay. Oh, okay. Because when I went to school, I got beat up. See, <laughs> see that was before James Brown told us it was all right <laughs> to be black, <laughs> <laughs> and I was the darkest. Yeah. Uh, I, I really, I tell my kids that all the time. I said it was me. I said I was the darkest, but um, it 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 was it was really hard. Yeah. And. Uh, because of my behavior at school, mm -hmm. I had a lot of uh, animosity with my peers, mm -hmm. and um, it just it just became a part of my life. Till eventually, by the time I was 17, after the the sexual uh, childhood sexual abuse, I became I I was a parent at 17 years old. I had two children at that, that time. time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I always I don't know where it came from. My mother was not one to be affectionate, or um, I, I don't know where I got the, it from, but I always wanted to be better. Right. Okay. And I always wanted something that I saw. And one of the, the problems with um, um, PTSD or um, anxieties and the different uh, symptoms that comes with um, sexual abuse or mm -hmm. sexual assault, but especially sexual abuse when you're a child, mm -hmm is that you don't have the imagination. Mm. It's taken away. Yeah, you don't have mm -hmm. the imagination. Trauma. Trauma. Mm -hmm. um, right now I'm really into trauma um, crisis. And yeah. uh, this coming January I'll be starting a PhD program 
Good for you. More to help yeah. with the trauma because trauma actually puts a roadblock. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. Yes, it mm -hmm. divides mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my, I don't, I, I look at it um, as a loss, and I believe I lost my childhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, five years old. Yeah, you know, I lost my childhood and kept going on and kept yeah. going on. And so when I did have the two children, I was 17, and I had one, and my parents, uh, my grandmother uh, took one of them took the oldest one mm -hmm. so I could go back to school. Okay, right. that was good. I wasn't in school long before I had another, another one. one. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's really, a, you know, when I tell people, watch your children, mm -hmm. uh, watch your boys and your girls. Mm -hmm. they they both. One in every three uh, young, uh, young women under, by, by the time she's 18, mm -hmm. will be sexually abused yes. as men. Yeah. And so if you count in a church pew, because this is my example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a pastoral counselor, mm -hmm. and my example is, if it's one in every three, if you look at a pew of women, mm -hmm. and you count one, two, well, three, now we don't use pews, you know, yes. <laughs> one, two, three, mm -hmm. one, two, two three, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can imagine in a church full, uh, that how many people, and how many times have you heard me too? Yes. Oh, you know, yeah, too many times. Sitting in the, the airport, mm -hmm. um, somebody, t a couple weeks ago, I was, uh, um, going to D.C., mm -hmm. and I'm sitting in the airport in Atlanta, and sure enough, young lady, I'm telling her about Gail's law, mm -hmm. because I strike up a conversation Good. with her, mm -hmm. and she immediately tells me, and people who are strangers would tell you. So uh, this is my childhood you asked me about, and I'm saying that I came through that with the childhood, but then in 1988, there was a serial rapist, and there was a sexual assault mm -hmm. um, on, my, on my person, and yes. that took her on, you know, from there. Of so. Course. I tell mm -hmm. young ladies that who, where, however you um, see yourself, mm -hmm. or whoever you're with, that's how you see yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But people don't understand yeah, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Women, we don't. Yeah, we don't get so that. So all that's been embedded in us as children, mm -hmm. right? For the ages of zero to seven, mm -hmm. right? That's made no no longer a thought or abstract. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. actually concrete. It is sewn and, and yeah, and it's in there. It's in, mm -hmm. in there. So, Ms. Gail, mm -hmm. question for you. So, five years old, mm -hmm. five years old, mm -hmm. you were abused, sexually abused. Yeah. What, who, what, when? It was a, well, um, it was a family member. Mm. Um, and I, it went on till, till I began my period. What? You know. And I couldn't understand, you know, why my mother didn't know it. You know. But you didn't tell anyone. Yeah, and because uh, I would, no, no one would have believed yeah, me. Right. Isn't that sad? It's sad, yeah. sad, very sad. I, I'm finding that women now are telling their children more and explaining more you to have them. To. Right. Mm -hmm. I just love this generation, mm -hmm. um, except for the entitlement part. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there yeah, you, you go. hit yes. that on the nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You know, or you baby boomers. You right. Know, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm tired of hearing that. <laughs> but um, I, I really believe that that's a part of, of just being um, where we were. What goes on in this house stays in, in this house. house. That's right. And but nobody told anyone that it was against the law, but the shame mm -hmm. is what keeps it. Shame wow. and guilt. Right. And um, it <laughs> keeps it down to a, a particular level. It, mm -hmm. it goes with um, all the other uh, aspects that we are. You know what? And I have to break into my own conversation. Yes. Shame that takes on every aspect of our lives mm -hmm. and, and it's not just sexual abuse, but in other things, domestic violence. Nobody right. knows what's going on in your mother's house or what's happening, but you right. don't know that. You right. think everybody knows. Right. And if you don't think everybody, you know that somebody's going to find out sooner or later. Mm -hmm. So it actually, whatever, whenever shame comes up, you know, um, it's, it's really devastating to a life. It is. You know, it, it makes is. all the difference. So when did your mom find out? You ready for this? Mm-mm. I was on DC. Okay. After the sexual, after the sexual assault, mm -hmm. I was 42 years old. What? And I did go to a counselor one time because 
I didn't have no, nobody had any money back then. Of course. Black folks right. in those yeah, they right, sure right. did. No. Still but don't. I had sense enough to know if I called the police and I needed some help, mm. you know, that I should be all right. And I, that she told me, she says, you need to talk to your mother. Mm. I said, she won't believe me. She says, how do you know? Right. I said, she won't. So mm. sure enough, I got up the courage to tell her. Yeah. And she was shocked. I was 42 years old. My oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. So she believed you. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. She, you didn't she think believed. she would believe yeah. you. But as a child, no. Yeah, because she was scared. I was, I was so devilish, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I lie. Yeah. But you lie out of fear. Right, right. And, um... I would get in trouble all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I was my mother's illegitimate child. Okay. Mm, okay. You know, so here now you have a child, um, mm. and you you've got shame already because you've had right. a child out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. You've got somebody who you've had a child for that's not taking. He he was taking care. You paid the courts made him take care of me. I was a privileged child. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, Got him put in his pocket. Good. He had money. Good. Okay. Yeah, they Good. got. It. I I got clothes. My girlfriend used to tell mm -hmm. me, I hate to be so jealous that you mm -hmm. get clothes every school year <laughs> and every summer. That's right. right. You know, and I say, yeah, my mother had to go get that money from the court for me. That's but right. I'm saying that to you is that I actually um, had. A, I was I was smart, but I just did not have the. The encouragement. It is so important yes. to Encourage validate your children. children. You have to and praise them. Mm -hmm. And my mother couldn't because she didn't know how. She, she didn't, didn't know. know it's not her fault. How she was raised. That's yes. right. Mother did. That's, right. Just, That's you know? right. And so it's. It was about forty. I'm forty-two years 42. old. But that hindered too because there was no place to go to. No victim service center. Central. Nothing. Florida, not like what no, they have now. Right? Yeah. None of that. Times have changed. Yeah. So. But For the good. Yeah. 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 But you know what I've discovered over the period of time, mm -hmm. uh, especially here recently, if it had not been mm. for the community of the church, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was my mental health piece. That was yeah. it. Yeah. And I've been reading and studying up on that, and um, lately doing a lot of reading about African American women and and um, and black church culture, mm -hmm. and how we need that. Yeah, we that do. was all some of us are, but, but That's all you have. Right. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is we have to be careful not to cover that up, not mm -hmm. to use it um, to cover up mm -hmm. with things that we need to talk about we and expose. Yeah. Definitely. And that's where the problem is. That's yeah. where the problem is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Covering it up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. over the years, mm -hmm. though, before you even turned 44 and was able to even tell your mom or go to a counselor mm -hmm. for her to encourage you to tell your mother, how were those mm -hmm. years? What are some of the things that you went, went through, through emotionally? Mm -hmm. How did you deal with, mm -hmm. you know, with that? Up, uh, up until 2016, mm -hmm. I could not sleep until I saw. Mm. In 1988. Oh, wow. I could not sleep with the lights off. Um, if I could sleep in your house, mm -hmm. but I couldn't sleep in my wow. house. Yeah. Because it happened in yours, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You're still scared. And it was in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I and um, and I didn't have any electricity. Oh. It was off, the and I couldn't off. get it off, get it back on until that Monday. This was on a Friday night. Oh gosh! So the house was pitch black. Mm -hmm. Pitch black. You couldn't see anything. So I'm kind mm. of like, okay, this, how are we going to work through this? And and there's so much out there now. Yes. You know, and um, whatever whatever works for you, that's what you use. But I do know that. That um, discourse is the beginning of healing. Yes, That's it is. That's what I say. Right. Um, writing is cathartic. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. You know, those are the things you want to do. Mm -hmm. When um, when I have um, uh, a counseling, uh, the first assignments I give her uh, uh, usually is the to talk to me mm -hmm. and let's get it out. Yes. And to write. And to bring a journal, make sure you write when you have any moments, when yeah. you have thoughts and mm -hmm. memories or whatever. Yeah, put it down. And huh? And just write it down. Now, a lot of times people don't come back with the journal. Mm. They're embarrassed, you think? I think yeah. I think first of all, if if you're not a writer, you think right away, this woman's gonna grade my paper, I'm gonna get these mistakes. Right. I'm not gonna, <laughs> and no, that's not no, the case. No, that's not it. Mm -hmm. You know, she used to be an English teacher. I know about writing. Uh -huh. I can hear them. <laughs> She's gonna grade and me. And I'm going, yes. no, darling, mm -hmm. I, still do, I still draw a line through my words in my journal. <laughs> right. You know. mm -hmm. um, but that's not it. But then the other part is you're actually now at the precipice of 
what you're needing to cross over mm -hmm. that trauma. It mm. hurts. It hurts. And it hurts yes. the memories yeah. and the anger. Yes. So how did you do? How did you heal? What did you do to heal? Just write. Oh well. That's it. The, uh, that's all I could yeah. do. Yeah. There was no. There was no other help. Other yeah. Avenue. That's yeah. true. At the time. Yeah. Now there's believe. avenues wow. and and there's lots of help mm -hmm. and. Um, I uh, studied, uh, when I finished my master's in mm -hmm. English education, I was working. Mm -hmm. But just before I retired, I started going to, um, I, I went back to school for a master's in pastor of daughter. Okay. Like, because awesome. most of the people were in the church. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I can just get my sisters, mm -hmm. talk to them, and, and we talk, and I give them, you know, whatever I was taught mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. But the psychotherapy part, mm. I believe I, if I got, and I did, I, I believe that if I got enough time and they talked enough and got them to see another person, you know, pers mm -hmm. perspective, perspective. Mm -hmm. they actually would find it. So, you know, maybe I need to talk to them. You know? Right. Because right. I tell them I only give you five visits. Oh, oh that's good though. Yeah. Okay. Five visits and then we move from here. Mm -hmm. So either they would go all the way with me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not here just to be your girlfriend mm -hmm. and talk. I'm here to right. hold you and sympathize, empathize with right. right. and go through this so we can get to a place where you can get you some help, help. if you want to go further. Mm -hmm. And so that's usually how, how we work that yeah, out. Yeah, that's really good though. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like you said, you had to go into the church to yeah. find that because there was nothing. There's there nothing was at all. Nothing. Yeah. Wow. And there was nothing for me. Yes. And therefore I said, well, you know, years went by, mm -hmm. but I noticed that there were some things that actually would, would you know, tweak my, my, mm -hmm. my, my mind. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, <laughs> this is happening. But then I had this thing for mm -hmm. a while, for years. And um, talking about the brain and the mind. And I would say, God, well, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Got to be something different. Mm -hmm. And began to read and to learn how uh, a few uh, scientists believe that this brain mm -hmm. is a part of is the and the mind is the same thing. Mm -hmm. But now they're starting to find out, find out it's, it's not. As mm -hmm. um, it's an immaterial part of us, and it's really. Um, the piece that instructs mm -hmm. the brain, mm -hmm. you know, that, that causes the body, right. you know. And if the spirit, if it allows the, the mind is doing what the spirit, you know, tells it to, we, we're good. If it mm -hmm. bypasses the spirit, then mm -hmm. we're not good. If we need help, you know? right. Yeah. So help. But I actually, you know, began to say, I said, well, that's what we need to look at because the church itself mm -hmm. teaches that. Mm -hmm. The spirit, the soul, and the body. Right. The spirit, mind, and body. Mm -hmm. same, same piece, the yes. heart. Right. That that's the same piece, mm -hmm. and people are confused, or they say, "Well, I don't want that because this is what I need," but mm -hmm. they don't understand mm -hmm. how they connect Work together the theology and the psychology of mm -hmm. it all. Right. I believe God to be omniscient, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, all knowing, yes, and that everything good comes from Him. Mm -hmm. That's and right. What works for you and is, is of God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go with it. Yes, you know, I like that. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Ms. Gill, how did you do with um, relationships, you know, being abused? And this is what, times two. <laughs> so how was it, how were you with relationships? How did um, that work? Reminding you what I said, we with the people we're with of how we think about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So here comes this young okay. child before the rape, comes this young child who's grown up with um, no validation or affirmations, mm -hmm. no encouragement. You'll never be anything. You get two oh babies. God. Right. You didn't graduate from high school, which I right. wind up doing. All this negativity. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, all you know, all of those things were were there. Yeah. And then you find somebody who. Uh, uh, but I heard um, a a, uh, a one of my leaders, um, a spiritual father, years ago say that it's a sick chicken that picks at another chicken. It's a sick know? chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, funny. and that's what, and we believe that's what's true. A, chi a sick chicken, chicken will pick at another, another chicken. chicken. That's something. Is that that's something? That's a good analogy. Yeah, it used to mm -hmm. blow my mind. I said, what? <laughs> that and sitting, uh, every time we had to sit on its own bottom, those uh, two right there. Oh, wow. It's yeah. yeah. true? Yeah. 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 But, <laughs> but um, it actually just being able to uh, get to the place where we can can see where we are in life mm. and know that it, we, there was something that woke you up. 
mm. something, you know, mm -hmm. but it don't, but you know, there's no textbook when you mm -mm. leave. Mm -hmm. no. There's no. Well, after four times, now you leave. No. <laughs> and you have people who say, right. why what are you, you talking about? My, my ex-husband, who, who finally became a Christian and the head deacon in his mm, church before he died. Him. Yeah, good. yeah. And so I said, well, okay, that's <laughs> the way it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. But um, he would never hit me in front of the children, but mm -hmm. they were my two, my two kids. Mm -hmm. um, the youngest one was his, and but he, he never would hit me in front of them, but he would hit me or mm -hmm. oh, slap me or something, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, nice. and um, it was, you just have to be able to put those things in perspective as to, okay, how long is this going to be? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. sometimes God will move people out of your way. It's true. Most of yes. the time. Yeah. Yes. And you're the one that's thinking, oh, mm -hmm. what do mm -hmm. no, There's a reason for everything. What do without him? Yeah. Right. Like, huge. You know, when you come to your senses, like, wait a minute. <laughs> this guy. Why was I with no, him to begin wait with? Wait a minute. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> what was I doing with him to begin yeah. with? Yeah. Yes. And you began to see yourself mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. And love on yourself a little more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> knew and all the dreams that I had for myself that people tell me I would never be. You did. That was the opportunity. There, there you go. That's right. He moved them out of my way. Mm. And uh, we became friends. So, so my friend, you know, cordial friends. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, I had a hard time with child support. As a matter of fact, it was none until... Somebody had to take it from him when he went to apply for some money. Don't even, but, don't get me started on this, child support. Do not oh, get her started, please. You don't want to get me started on oh, that one. please. Oh, baby. I, you know, I'm thinking, hmm. these are yours. Not only yours, they're exactly. you. That's right. Little you. Yes. Is that how you treat you? Because he didn't want you to move forward. <laughs> no. He didn't and, want and you to have his money. No, he didn't want me to have his money. Hmm. And, and was so surprising when his sister um, and I got to talk on time. Um, I hadn't heard talk to her for years. Mm -hmm. And finally, we were talking on the phone one day, and she, I was, she was telling me, I want a copy of your book, and, mm -hmm. and she was so surprised. I said, yeah, and she was saying, something came up about what I was doing. I said, I'm te I teach English, you know. Mm -hmm. She said, you're teaching? She mm -hmm. said, you're in school. But see, yes. her and her parents, I was described, you're the heir. What are you doing with her? You know, wow. she got two kids. Now mm -hmm. look at you. Either one of you, you mm -hmm. know, yours, and now she's got yours. But mm -hmm. nobody's taking care of this. Is that belongs to him, and mm -hmm. he's not. So when... He held all that from his mm -hmm. folks to keep me right. looking like what they had, you know, That's said right. I was. That's unfortunate. No yes. You're dumb. Mm -hmm. You have no mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> it's it's a terrible legacy, but at the same time, we we kind of were glad that things worked out, mm -hmm. and my youngest yes. son is fine now with it. Good. I was going to ask you about him. Yes. Yeah. He's fine now. He um he has his you know growing up. Mm -hmm. But he, I love it when he says, I remember times when I ate and I asked him, are you going to fix you something to eat? He mm -hmm. said, no, I'll eat later. Mm -hmm. He said, I realized, Mom, you didn't have it. Right. There was nothing there for you. Right. He said, and I want to know, let you know I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's so sweet. sweet. That's so what sweet. Yeah. Because that's what Wonderful sacrifice. Yeah. We have to make we those sacrifices. We want to make sure our right. kids he get is, taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. He, he said, I remember. Good. And he sees it a whole lot different than the other two see it. Uh -huh. you know? Okay. Um, he was the youngest. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He was the home, home the longest because they are actually uh, 14 and 16 years older, older than, than him. him. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you started all over again. That's a big gap. Mm -hmm. Listen, I felt a sick turkey, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting ready to live my life. Yes. Like we were you were getting ready to travel. <laughs> yeah, we were getting ready to travel. We didn't have to take any t they teenagers or somebody to keep up with us. That's right. Cousins and them. right. You know, we, let's go. And I came home from my sister's wedding from uh -huh. New York, sick as a dog. Mm. I'm like, oh, no. Took me to the doctor. Yes. That was it. Listen. <laughs> when you heard the word pregnant. Stuck, wait a minute. Stuck a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I am throwing up all over the place. He's got a cigar, cigar. in his mouth. Cigar yes. in his mouth. <laughs> you know, you turn around smiling like I can't see in the doctor. Uh -huh. You know, I'm like, man. Uh, look what you this did. This was not on my plan. No, <laughs> no. Mm -mm, this was not part no. of the plan. <laughs> so I, you know, it's, 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 it was just one of those um, times in our lives when we look mm -hmm. back now and, yes. and can say, thank you, God. We see God in every, all every, of that. All right. of that. He thank saw you, it all. Lord. We see him in all of that. Yes. And when I counsel with people, I try, and I'm really coming up with this, mm -hmm. too. 
I had an aha moment. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my bishop can I just throw his name out there, Derek mm -hmm. L. McRae. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shout him out. <laughs> He's a, he is a teacher extraordinaire, wise for his age. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, he's been teaching on thought wars, and I'm hoping he, he thought probably, wars. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they've been airing that since January, I think, mm -hmm. and, uh, February, mm -hmm. something like that, okay. on Tuesday nights. And I'm hoping he does something else with that. But I remember the lesson. Mm -hmm. that all of a sudden it said, you know, you're teaching others how to see another perspective, but what's the source of perspective? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Why is your thinking in this way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. That's what you went through. Yeah, and I'm thinking, and, and we're talking about my personal thinking <laughs> right. mm -hmm. was not lining up okay. with what I believed and knew to teach mm -hmm. and to help as a helping professional. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I have had to take everything and move it. And when I did that, I began to actually see and do my notes and look at what I have. I said, you know, I, this is really powerful. Mm -hmm. That's when the Lord opened the door for me to go back to school for a PhD. And I'm glad you did counseling that. Counseling and psychology. Mm -hmm. How do you feel with yourself? Wow. Crisis. How do you feel? All right. <laughs> I have a friend. <laughs> we have three, th three or so old ladies. Back to school for a PhD. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, for two tickles. I like that. <laughs> two in New York, and here I am, uh -huh. right? And the thing is, I'm looking at it, and they're looking at mm -hmm. it as though it's a, it's a move up. Mm -hmm. Until I heard one of them crying the blues this morning on the prayer line, she gets off the phone, <laughs> she calls me, she said, This is killing me. I said, How many <laughs> classes are you taking? One? Oh. oh, girl. She said, Well, I don't understand. Like, I said, listen, by mm -hmm. the time you get to the next class mm -hmm. and the next, it's going to get easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's online class. I You're said, encouraging You're her. Gonna, yeah. And so the, I feel that I'm going, to, I, I've already started doing my, my, my uh, research on my dissertation. Mm -hmm. You're ready. You're yeah, ready. Yeah. She's not and, playing. And, uh -huh. and, and, and trying to remember and t not remember, trying to learn yeah. statistics. Me and YouTube University, okay? Ooh, yeah, so you YouTube around. University. About 15, 20 minutes a day. Yeah. You know, let's do a problem. <laughs> learn learn a, a term, the terminology. Uh -huh. So by the time I get to my third semester where it's at, mm -hmm. I know something. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and you're so smart. She is that, so smart. Well, see, I was an educator, see? Okay, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's yeah. the little secret. That's what you were it an is. educator. And I don't mind reading and writing. That's there the you other yeah. thing. <laughs> you yeah. You know? But <laughs> it's so funny because... I go, man, I, I was thinking about it earlier today. I said, am I going to really not crash behind this? Cause after I heard my friend this morning, another pastor, friend of mine. No, you got this. And I said, I can't let myself get discouraged. No, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no. You've I had so many obstacles yes. that you came her yeah, way. Mm -hmm. I, no. I can't. And I, um, an age always comes back and say, you know, you're really too old. No, you're not. You know, you're never too you're old. Never too old. And I said, yeah, but we have an off 75th birthday party next year, so unbelievable. We're gonna get, we're gonna get you it. look good. Amazing. You look well, good. I feel great. Good. I, except for Uncle Arthur, he comes and knocks on the door once in a Every while. Every once in a while to remind yeah, you. Uncle Arthur <laughs> remind me, you know, oh, that old girl. <laughs> that old, and I'm going, okay. I, I started going back to um, before in 2019. I stopped going to water aerobics, water fitness. Mm -hmm. So I went back to water fitness a couple of weeks ago. So I twice a week, mm -hmm. and it was good. too much. Oh, okay. So, I had so to you go cut back it. To one, okay. Because you know, I was coming home like Ooh, this. Ooh, couldn't I move. Put me a wetsuit. Yeah. You know, took these wetsuits. I'm All right. <laughs> but it was too much. Yeah. So, so one. if I can keep myself healthy and yeah. be a good steward over my mm -hmm. body, the Lord give me the grace mm -hmm. and the mercy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And use wisdom. Yes, you got I, this. We pray that by 26, 26, 2026, I will graduate. Oh, You're going to graduate. That's we would awesome. love to be at that, yeah. that well, party. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, listen, we got to stay the date going out. That's this, right. Well, by next week, my niece is mm -hmm. working on those. But, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I, we, we're going to do that. What an accomplishment. You know that term, yeah. you don't look like what you've been through. Mm -hmm. oh. I know you say that mm -hmm. so many times. <laughs> yeah, right? okay. You look like what I've been through. <laughs> I, maybe I need to start, you know. <laughs> um, but I, I really don't feel that way um, mentally. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't. And I'm glad because I do can, I can tell some things about me. I can... I can measure with things that I learned about um, anxiety mm -hmm. okay. um, I've, and um, about uh, paranoia. Mm -hmm. um, 
I can look back and see some things that I do that I uh, that that trauma victims do. Right. But at the same time, I can rem remember how I realized that I have actually moved over to some things, and because I recognize them, I said, "Oh no, we're not taking that." That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. Recognized right. it. Stopping that. Right. Exactly. Right now. You right find now. some things though. Yeah. Trigger you yeah, in yeah. life now? Triggers, yeah. yeah. Uh, depression. Yes. I felt that for, uh, one day this week. For, and, and But then I realized that's because your money is short. You know what? It's because <laughs> <laughs> you're broke. Because your money is short. <laughs> you're a little challenged yes. right now in the purse. Yeah, that's so why. When, when the bank fills up, yeah, then you'll be all yeah, right. Yeah, right? Yeah, you'll yeah, be laughing yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel better today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Good. Right there. You know, <laughs> situational depression. Yes, you know? we understand. So uh, it was yeah. so funny. So I said, no, oh, that's God. not it. Thank God. This uh -huh. can be fixed. This yes. Depression, you that's know? right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it's not really depression. It's that if you think about it, you yes. say, well, I shouldn't have done mm -hmm. this and I shouldn't have done that. We always do that, don't we? Never yeah. fails. Why did I yeah. buy that? Why Never fails. I, I could have done without that. Yeah, depression. You know, God, go fix it. They said, I'm going to get y'all by lying on me. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just... I'm just thrilled mm. with the way my life is shaping up, mm -hmm. and I'm believing that if, if from what I've learned, especially if I change the way I think, yeah. you know, uh, what I believe has control over me, and mm -hmm. what has control over me is what I believe. Mm -hmm. So now, what yeah. do I believe? Right. You yeah. see? Keep preaching that. Mm -hmm. Keep telling people that. I'm yeah. glad that you're offering mm -hmm. those words, those yeah. comforting words, yeah. and giving women a place where they can speak yes. and they can get it all out and get the comfort and what they need mm -hmm. to yes. move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, it's very important. Good. And so we're looking to, uh, to, to see the next year mm -hmm. better than we had this, this year. year. Yeah. And each year, you know, from there on, and if you know, just truth be told, we did pretty good in twenty twenty. Some of us, you know, we did. <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't right. a total it wasn't bad loss. for no, everyone. No, not for not everyone. For everyone. Mm -mm. There were some losses and yes. some friends mm -hmm. and people that we knew, yeah. but um, you know, I like to, uh, to hear, you know, just the fact that every morning is a new morning. Yes, it is a new morning. That's right. Got it's a new, new day. day. Get mm -hmm. it over. That's it. That's, That's it. Right. That's just right. thankful that our eyes are open and we are here to see yeah. another day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your book. Mm -hmm. Books. It's, it's, books. Well, it's only one. Let me let me put it this way. The gift free book is on my website. Okay. Okay. okay but my ebook, which was a hard copy, and I didn't bring. I meant to bring the hard copy. I got three copies left. Okay. And um, I, anyone who wants the book, can go online. Okay. But it's not. It's when I hid behind the biblical women. Mm -hmm. I told my story through their lives. Okay. Oh. Um, Why is that? Because I was shamed. Oh. Now I was talking to you in a, in a you know, in a space, mm -hmm. or whatever. But you talk about putting it on a platform and out the right. media, right. right? You know, and that. That is scary. Up. Yeah. So I took some women from the Bible, I, um, who had been abused. Yes. Um, my s website is called Still the King's Daughter, mm -hmm. and on that you can find my ebook. Okay. Okay. And um, Still the King's Daughter, it refers to Tamar, where um, mm -hmm. her stepbrother mm -hmm. uh, raped her, mm -hmm. and her father and her brother told her, "Don't tell nobody," mm -hmm. and then sent her into obscurity to live in her brother's house because that was custom. Right. right. And this some has been of going us on. mentally. Right. have taken that, s and emotionally have taken that same stand, mm -hmm. where we don't go outside of our of ourselves, afraid yeah. to venture out and let the shame yeah. hide yes. us into obscurity, mm -hmm. mentally and emotionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's but it. nonetheless, it didn't make her any less still the king's daughter. That's right, she still is. Yes. She's still the king's daughter. Mm. So if our women would understand, you're still a queen. Yes, no matter what. You know, absolutely. You're still the king's daughter, yeah. and you don't have to hide mm -hmm. back there. This is not the custom in this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have more now. Mm -hmm. God, will take that you use, mm -hmm. that pain, you know, that you've suffered, right. and we've heard it, you know, before. So that's um, where it's at. So my book is on there, mm -hmm. and there's a blog page, and there's a media page, and, okay. and I'm trying to put it back in place. I'm not trying. I will be. Hopefully yes. by January. My counseling. Okay. Um, the Alpha Soul Care and Empowerment Institute. 
okay. and that will be on that site also. Also, so everything is there. Mm -hmm. It will be on that site. Okay, that's uh, good. The one will be taken to well, uh, Rafa will it will have a site of its own, but it can also be reached through through your through site. Still the king's daughter. Okay. I oh, like that. House. Still the king's yeah, daughter. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. You're so mm -hmm. driven. Well, I know. Oh. Isn't that something? Yeah. Love it. Busy. Yeah. Really? <laughs> You've my been goodness. busy. I asked my, I said, what's motivating Yes. Is it power? And I you said, no, Lord, because I wouldn't put myself through this. Yeah. For some power. Yeah. The right. way I've been through is no way. So what is it? And the Lord reminded me, because there's a drive. Women are convicted. Mm. And that's why we fill up the pews. Oh, wow. It's because of Conviction. conviction. And conviction is what drives us to be who we are exactly. and, and to be in the presence of God. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, and worship, yeah. and and through worship is, has been a healing uh, mechanism for me. Yeah. And so when I feel that even now, um, the Spirit of the Lord, the uh, Holy Spirit, back, hand in my back, just right. you can feel me. it. Right. I can feel it. Mm. And so it just pushes me further when I'm not feeling very loved. Mm -hmm. I can feel. Keeps you still drive, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. that's that's what keeps me going. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you could see it. It's mm -hmm. just the calm mm -hmm. over you. You just peaceful. Peaceful. You know everything about you. you when you walked in, it was just yeah. peaceful. Wow. It was just mm. peace. Like, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm like, ah! <laughs> I don't have a moment. Yeah. But but um, I I really. Uh, I think I'm finding a, another place okay. since this since 2019 mm -hmm. November 2019 is when I walked in the police station, asking okay. for my case right so I could write. And you just Can decided mm -hmm. why is it that you went mm -hmm. in then? Yeah. Yes. Why yes. then? Yes. Why yes. at that then, moment? After all those years. Right. What made you do that? Well, for one thing, you know. Um, I'm looking for somebody to come to my door. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. Tell me something. And you've had this man locked up since 1992. Come on. So mm. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, and I did make a call a couple of times, but I called about a blanket, and um, a blanket, and then another uh, time I called myself. But it was never about the case, because I'm thinking, of course you would let me know. If something, So that's right. not what I'm calling about. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get into a long conversation with anybody. Matter of fact, when I called um, the detective that I talked to mm -hmm. about my aunt's blanket that was on that bed, mm. uh, it was a quilt, and I wanted it. I and wanted so it. He, he, I said, um, uh, I, I don't know if I said my name well, but he told me he knew who I was. Mm. Okay. And he said my name. <laughs> and so I'm thinking to myself, you know, okay, and I was really shocked. Mm -hmm. But all those years, nothing happened. So when I walked in there that day, I mm -hmm. was coming from somewhere else, mm -hmm. and I was getting excited because the next day was classic day, and I was going to the <laughs> You were ready. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said, let me stop by here yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, see if these people open since they moved from downtown because they were never open when mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And so I... Um, Went in there and I told him I wanted my copy of my records and mm -hmm. he said, "For what?" I said, "1980." I said, "89," mm -hmm. but come to find out it was 1988. Mm. That just shows you what your memory. Does. Yes. So she said, "Well, we can't give that to you right now because it's so many Long years." Ago. Yes. She said, "But let me get a detective mm -hmm. down to talk to you." Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, she went to look this for, for the case and mm -hmm. I guess she saw it on the screen mm -hmm. that it was a cold case and he came down. This is crazy. Yeah, oh my gosh. and he asked me, could he look into mm -hmm. it? And I said, yeah, go ahead. And I walked out of there with my mouth hanging open. Mm. It was not what I went in there for. You didn't expect that wow. at all? Not at wow. all. Wow. And you just happened to just walk in there mm -hmm. at that time? I was coming from a, 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 uh, I was coming from a lunch with the, some, with, uh, I say classmates, but they were, I was in an internship. Mm -hmm. program, chaplaincy internship program mm -hmm. out at Advent Health, and it, we all got together. Mm -hmm. we, had bit, we had stopped seeing each other okay. after class. We wanted to get together. Yeah. Okay, and good. I enjoyed it, so and I'm driving, mm -hmm. and I said, let me go by this girl's mm -hmm. house and see if she's there. Right. And I called her on my way there going mm -hmm. down Paramore, and I didn't get any answer. I said, oh, I'm not going down there and, and, and just, to, you know, turn from the door. They might be here, may not. Mm -hmm. So then I made a right turn down there on South Street. 
And I said, well, let me go in here and see about mm. it. Maybe mm -hmm. in this case, because I've been talking about not just writing, but maybe sitting in front of a camera mm -hmm. okay. um, and, and begin to speak. Yeah, yeah, do that Oprah thing. You know, yes. that's the class. Right, right. You, know? right. <laughs> yeah. you can. Uh -huh. Love it, love it. Because young folks don't read anymore. So they sure <laughs> don't. No. They, but they listen. <laughs> yeah, they they'll watch. listen and they'll watch. I said, well, I'll do that for my grand and my yeah. great grand, you know? Uh -huh. And um, that's what, how I got in. I'm mm -hmm. glad your friend wasn't home. Oh, yeah. Mm. She wasn't supposed she to be home because you were home. supposed to go there. She yeah. wasn't supposed to answer the phone. Right. I don't know mm -hmm. if they were home or not. Right. But I, wow. I just kept it open. You know what we want to hear? Mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. like for you to go mm -hmm. back, just because I want the viewers to hear this. On that night that he abused you and you went into the hospital, because oh, I yes. the part where you talk about you were by yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you'll just talk about that part. Um. Your mom took you or the police took no, you to the, the hospital? the police took me. Oh. Um, I, I went next door mm -hmm. to my neighbor's house. I grabbed my son mm -hmm. and um, they took me um, to the hospital mm -hmm. and my son went home with a friend of mine okay. and his family. And so while I was there, they put me in the room. Room is bl blank. Mm -hmm. It's a white room. But like yeah, like I maybe had a been a, a storage room or something sometime. Mm -hmm. Oh, but oh it was wow! A pretty large mm -hmm. storage room. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the wall. Mm -hmm. wonder, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be fancy, but I'm laying up there, and they have me stripped naked because they had to take all of my clothes mm -hmm. and a sheet, and this is like the refrigerator. This is. Wow. A meat locker. Right. You're freezing. And I'm in there for a couple of hours. Mm. I'm like, this, she, she and the DNA will work. We'll wait, you know. So Come on. They're not going anywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we got other patients. Yeah. Here. But I never felt mm. so. It was very uncomfortable, not only in, in physically, mm -hmm. but I, that was just not, you know. And I tell anyone, go through it. Please do it. Mm -hmm. You've got to have it because there's some people. No, you who, need it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Stephanie was telling me, you know, they gave me the story about mm -hmm. hers. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm saying that that is needful. But I'm glad that we are now trauma-informed more than we were, and we're trying to push That's more right. trauma-informed yes. um, uh, stakeholders out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because... It, they have to be able to see what it feels like for the survivor. Correct. Absolutely. You know? Correct. And making sure that um, they're comfortable, mm -hmm. um, someone's holding their exactly. hand. Exactly. You know, right. Have some kind of yeah, someone in there. Poor thing. Sorry you had to go we through have that. advocates now. Wow. Um, I'm an advocate, and I'm just uh, hopefully be certified by the end of this month and <laughs> finish yeah. my work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but just putting your hand on someone until... Right. So yes, them know it that means so much. You just went through all of this yeah. sure. just oh to goodness. let you lay there, and then here you yeah. are laying there by yourself. You have all these thoughts, thoughts yeah. going through your mind yeah. and replaying That's it. Right. No one would even come in to say, you know what? How are you? Can yeah, I get you something? Do you need something? That, Two hours. Nineteen eighty-eight. Wow. And the um, a couple of days later, a few days later, maybe a week, I said, you know. I knew, well, before I got to that, I asked the, um, the uh, law enforcement if I could have, was there somebody I could talk to? Mm -hmm. And they gave me and they, um, someone at um, another depart law enforcement department. Mm -hmm. And I went in there, and I'm sitting in front of another woman, a detective, blonde, mm -hmm. sitting in front of me. And I'm, well, here she is at her desk. I'm sitting on the side of the desk mm -hmm. in the chair. And and I'm talking to her, and I'm saying all these crazy things. I'm thinking she's listening to me or she's whatever. She's not listening. She's looking over my head oh. at the detectives who are joking with her behind me. I can see out. That's a I shame. Oh, goodness. She didn't hear that a word. they're playing. No, and she's got this smirk on her mm -hmm. face because she wants to bust out laughing. Yes, we're messing with of her course. Right. Because I'm sitting there, and she's, you know. Oh, my goodness. That's not right. It's almost like being raped mm. all over. Yes, of course, That's victimized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being victimized. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So we kind of like um, have are glad we're at the place now where, and hopefully um, with the Violence Against Women's Act, 
uh, reauthorization and then so many other things and groups that I'm working with, even the Department of Justice mm, right good. now, good. is to be able to make sure that everyone is trauma informed. We have a new law that mm -hmm. came out this past um, election mm -hmm. now, um, uh, session 2021 where they all have to now go back through law enforcement, good. the the um, sexual assault, mm -hmm. um, nurse examiners, um, the judges, mm -hmm. the, the attor state attorneys, it's, you know. That's awesome. Go through the process yes. of knowing what it is on the side of a victim. Good, good. Who has gone through this and, and how they mm -hmm. are to treat them. Come on. And how they are to, you know, empathize. Yes. Right. And be able to pull them in. So. It's it's a, it's a lot it's a lot to do, but it's worth it's it. Worth it's worth it. It's very That's right. Mm -hmm. I really believe that um, I believe in leaving a legacy that mm -hmm. my generation. You definitely are. Mm -hmm. a legacy. You definitely are. And it, they don't have to be. They don't have to be laws or anything. It's just the fact that what are you doing mm -hmm. to help someone else? Correct. And are you walking with them through whatever process mm -hmm. that they need? Mm -hmm. um, whatever you can do. Right. And if it's within any situation, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Right. And it's even better if you already know mm. what the situation is. If you've experienced mm -hmm. it, then you owe it to them yeah. to help them, you know, yeah, to, you owe to it. get through. Yeah. yeah. My thing is, I mm -hmm. always say that you need to treat people the way you would want to be treated. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. That's right. And if we stop long enough to do that. And, and I don't have, you know, I say to people, how many times I might have snapped someone up, mm -hmm. but I wanted to say <laughs> now I can tell them that's because my PTSD kicked in. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I thank God because I can't use that one. You time. can't use it all the yeah. time. No, <laughs> it works sometimes. You have to think before you open your mouth. Uh -huh. you know, right. Bring yourself in. Bring it in. Just take it. Yes. <laughs> And let them wait a minute, you know, you know, let, yeah. them, mm -hmm. let them wait a minute, you know, and before you open your mouth. Yes. yes. You know, <laughs> or don't come out the room until you can speak to everybody and smile. That's you know, right. Yes. In, the room, in your Bible until you are good and done, <laughs> you know, stick a fork in you. Um, so those are the types of things that we all have to do. But at Absolutely. the same time, we do have an, an obligation to treat people the way we want to be treated. We sure yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We sure yeah. do. Yeah. You have something extra mm -hmm. special that you did. Mm -hmm. Gail's Law. Yeah, Can you yeah, share yeah, with yeah. us? That's amazing. <laughs> you Bravo. Made that you know happen. what? But, but this is the thing, because I've been getting the credit for it, but I have some smart folks that put that thing together. Yeah. Right, but I you opened your mouth, though. Yes. You, you yeah. said something That's to right. these powerful people mm -hmm. yeah. that helped you along the way to make sure this gets and done. I told my story, mm. and one of them was working on something anyway for legislature for the legislature for the year mm -hmm. and we had just had a success with another law donna's law mm -hmm. um, in 2020 mm -hmm. okay we say well let's try it again so um, legislators um emily slosberg mm -hmm. from palm beach county and um uh, uh linda stewart our beloved linda stewart and um rain Mm -hmm. um, rape, uh, abuse, incest, mm -hmm. um, national yes. network. That's Camille Cooper, Carol Wick. Um, Some amazing people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and Ilsa M Connect, and I, and Ilsa is the, I believe she's policy director mm -hmm. um, for uh, uh, the. Uh, the cases in in the, in the state in the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's one of those um, that works with backlog mm -hmm. kids. Okay, the backlog. Yes, okay. and she does a powerful job. Ilsa is um, the policy director for Joyful Heart Foundation. Mm -hmm. and Joyful, Joyful Heart, Heart mm -hmm. Foundation mm -hmm. CEO and founder is Maritza Haggerty of Law and Order. Okay. Of, um, as we use. Yeah, yeah. And so I, there was a, and so here I am, little old little me, you. in the meeting, <laughs> yes. the Zoom meeting, <laughs> and and um, I'm holding on to Carol's tail because I'm holding on her, for her because I knew her for some years, and right. I just wanted to be right in the social yes. work and, uh -huh. and uh, uh, justice piece, and I knew she's working on some things, 
and I would tell her my story, and she said, well, let's see what we can do. And she went, you know, put some things together, pulled some people together, and they were also doing the same thing. And sure enough, um, she introduced me to them mm -hmm. right there, and she said, we want to see if Gail, um, maybe if, you wouldn't mind if we named this law after you. Mm. Oh and my I goodness. said, I have no problem. Mm. I was wow. shocked. Yes. yes. I said, but only if the black community is going to be able to benefit from it because the serial rapist was in was the, black the black community. community. Right, right, right. Now, when this was all over and the, 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 the bill went, you know, passed and the governor signed, I'm still saying, okay, y'all, what are we going to do now? We're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to do that. And they're not paying me their time. Oh. I wonder, well, what's wrong what's with going on? You know, right. I'm like, okay, so <laughs> y'all just going to leave me out of here? <laughs> but I'm the one that said, and therefore it was up to me, mm. okay. the Spirit of God said, you got this assignment. See? They don't. Right. See? Right. You know, they don't look, none of them look like you. None of them look like you. Yeah, so it's your job. Yes. Yeah. It's your job. Yeah, and you don't want to open your mouth, mm -hmm. you know. Said, you know, and, and I mm -hmm. said, well, I did because, you know, but the Lord assured me that, I'm, you know, he's going to. Yeah. Make sure it gets done. You're going to so. help so many people. You have so. helped so many people, mm -hmm. and you're going to help so many people. And I'm so glad mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. that they were I able to identify yeah. this rapist. Yeah. He just, <laughs> 1992? I, I'm looking over my shoulder for, for 30 oh years. Oh, my goodness. And then when they found him, they found out that there were other cases. Yeah. And these women, there were 26 other cases that mm. they had found last time I heard. Yeah. And 11 of those women have died. Have already oh. passed. Yeah. So I said, you know, we're going to make sure that they're celebrated. Yes. Because that's oh. a lifelong sentence. That's a lifelong sentence. When that's, this is the image of God. Yes. We are made and created in the, in image, the image of God. Of God yes. And it becomes distorted <laughs> when something is put up against mm -hmm. it. Right. You know, um, oh my gosh. when it's been uh, violated. So yeah. th th when, you know, it, it's... You have a lifelong, a lifelong sentence mentally. Correct. It's different than one physically. Mm -hmm. And um, I really believe that as time goes on, yes. you know, w people will heal. I, I do know that I'm not the person I was mm -hmm. and how crazy I really Years was. Years ago. Mm -hmm. But I actually um, can see the difference in myself. And you had to know me mm -hmm. back then to really to to know understand. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what that was like. Uh, so mm -hmm. we just thank you though. Oh yeah, we really yeah, do. Thank you. Yeah. Relationships you didn't stop. are not good either. Relationships. Mm. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm it's sorry. Hard. Yeah. No, that's what I said. That was hard, right? Yeah. The relationships are hard. Yeah. And still, I, I, I actually oh. work at. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trying to we work get it. Relationships. I still yeah. work with. It's that. gonna take a lot. It makes sense though. Time. Yeah. I mean, you know, from abuse mm -hmm. and then yeah. to trust someone trust. all over again. Trust. Mm, the trust factor. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard and. But it's, uh, it's, it, it, it can be done, and I'm glad to say that it's so much better. Good. Uh, so much better. I, I'll go out of my way. If I go to a banquet or a party or mm -hmm. something, they have tables and everybody's sitting, mm -hmm. I have learned to work the room. Good for you. I get up and, and <laughs> go to uh, tables. Because you're right. definitely not a shy yeah, person. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a little shy. Just a little bit. I like to think I'm a uh -huh. little shy. I am. <laughs> but I go, I, I work the room. I just go from table to table, that's go to a picnic or something. Aww. That's what I'm doing. Going, that's you know, nice. That's nice. But I, I actually make myself get up. Yeah. You push know? yourself. Yeah. Encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. But you do the same thing. Yeah. You gotta push yourself. Mm -hmm. I gotta push mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No it. matter how hard it is, yeah. still get up. Yeah. Yeah. Push yeah. yourself. Yeah. Push through. Yeah. That's right. It's so. like you're talking to yourself. Yeah. You can do it. You, you can, can do it. Get up from uh -huh. there, girl. <laughs> yes. Get up. Get one foot in front of the other. Uh -huh. Come on. You know, tell who you might meet. It's you true. You never know. You never know. Put your best foot forward. That's right. How are the children? The children are doing. Um, I I say that because um. I only had one child at home at that time. He was nine years yes. old. Mm -hmm. um, he's 43 now. And he calls me every day and see how I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know anything. He doesn't remember that night? Does you he know, remember I was that under the impression that they took me out. He, the, the, you know, he took me out of the room okay. into another room because we were oh, both okay. laying in the same bed. Same bed. Oh, my goodness. You know, cause I'm so glad he didn't see that. And I didn't want him to have to yeah. get up in the, yeah. the darkness mm -hmm. or something. But... Um, he told me just back here last year. He said, Ma, I was asleep. <laughs> he said, that was snoring. I heard, <laughs> he, he was threatened. He said, I heard somebody 
He said, and I turned over, and I went back to sleep. Mm. Oh. And I said, I'm thinking you was awake the right, whole right, time. Right. You know, while I'm in the other room. He said, no, mom. He said, I was. Isn't that something? Well, that makes you feel better. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that he didn't he hear it, you know. No. Because who knows what would have happened if he was awake and came well, and tried to. he threatened to him. He told oh him. My he put a knife to my face, and then when Aaron turned over, he said, um, and don't you, you better not holler out or I'll kill you. Oh. And Aaron turned back over and went back to oh, sleep. Okay. He didn't even remember okay. that he told me. You're thinking he it's a dream. told me that, yeah. Isn't See, that something? But I had a scar on my face from the, the flat part of, of the knife. Mm -hmm. Not the point. That right. Because he was pressing it on yeah, your face. So hard. The part mm -hmm. had a scar. That's how sharp it was. Mm. And um, there's nothing like the scar I've left in both and the, Of course. That's forever. You know, yeah, that is forever. it's lifelong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you learn how um, you can either cope with it or you can heal from yes. it. Yeah. And I choose you chose to heal. To heal. Yeah. Yes. And I choose to heal. And every day is a healing day. Every Absolutely. Day. Every day. That's not, okay, I'm healed. Mm -mm. That's good. No. And we like to think that. Mm -hmm. But I believe God gives, causes us, us to heal and, and uh, you know, uh, progressively. I really believe there's some things that goes mm -hmm. on every day in us. Yeah. Every single yeah. day. I you believe that too. Your life. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to do that. Every single day. And so I know that each day I'm better than I was the day before. Yes. And that I actually wake up that way. Mm -hmm. I told someone, and I think I even put it on Facebook one mm -hmm. time, you know that it's going to be a good day when you smiling before you open your eyes. Mm. <laughs> you yeah. know. That's you true. Know, you mm -hmm. wake up smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, your eyes are still covered. You, you, you yes. know you're going to be smiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it's just things that I that I can identify with, even though someone else says, oh, you can't be healed. You got to do this. Or you're healed. Mm -hmm. Or you can't heal from this. I had mm -hmm. somebody tell me that social, um, that culture, mm -hmm. cultures cannot, cannot be changed. Hmm. A culture mm -hmm. cannot, cultures be cannot be changed. Yeah. And I'm just saying, I don't believe that. I believe I don't that believe we either. don't allow it to and be. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah, we have not allowed mm -hmm. it to, to be. So You've learned a lot. Yes. Yeah. You've learned a lot. You've educated yourself mm -hmm. on a lot of it as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And that was part of your healing, I believe. Yeah. Educating yourself yeah. about this. Yes. The psychological. Yes. I've had mm -hmm. to. And it works. But there's so much more. And that's out there mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. And... I really believe whatever works for you, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that's what you need and, and to seek after your healing. Mm -hmm. If you are just coping, coping mechanisms are, are, are not permanent, not long lasting. But if that's what you need for the time being until you can place in then something, do that. then do that. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ms. Hill, what would you tell someone who is fearful of speaking up? you know, due to shame, being judged? Well, regarding sexual I abuse. think the old, what I have found is that w when someone else brings up the topic, it kind of gives the other person a, a way of saying, me too, mm. yes. you know, or actually realizing that somebody else is speaking up, yeah. Yeah. you know, and if they don't say it to you, mm -hmm. they will say it to someone. someone. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, true. that's what I believe. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, you, the more you talk about it, mm -hmm. the better you feel about mm -hmm. it. Yes. Um, Start I, healing. Just, I believe that if the more I talk about Gail's Law mm -hmm. and educate, because I want to educate and advocate ab and teach people how to advocate for themselves. Correct. Don't wait till you, you know, the police department come to you for 30 <laughs> years. You know, I know, right? Know and to know your rights. Right? Yes. Um, we need to know our rights. Mm -hmm. And I believe that each time you tell your story to somebody mm -hmm. in the, um, who is in that position to hear and to go with that, you know, you're going to get tell it what it is. It's not going to be perfect. No. 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 Your memory not. is not going to have of course. everything. No. There's no linear of, right. of the uh, story. You've got spots. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's right. no. It doesn't here and need there. to be yeah. perfect. No. Yeah. But, but that's why we definitely need to put ourselves in that position mm -hmm. where we mm -hmm. can talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking one year, next year, mm -hmm. to host a night at a place, mm -hmm. a, a, uh, 
a house mm -hmm. okay. where there's about six women, a therapist, an advocate, and myself, mm -hmm. and maybe th maybe six women mm -hmm. okay. survivors, right. and, and have those open discussions. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. And like. to be there when they break that barrier that yeah. has been holding them. Yeah. All these years. And yeah, and to, to have them let them know it's a safe place mm -hmm. and that they can do that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sounds great. We want to break these generational mm -hmm. curses. Yeah. We have to yeah. keep yeah. these conversations and going. that's the other thing, the generational curse. Mm. Two things. Mm -hmm. It's only generational because we don't tell it. Mm. See, all this time, y'all knew Uncle Joe couldn't sit on his mm -hmm. lap. Yeah. Right. The family reunion. Did nobody tell me that? Hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You knew I couldn't go spend a night with those cousins mm -hmm. or those kids. You knew, but did nobody tell me that? No. And they've been doing you that know? for years. Yeah. My goodness. Y'all knew, knew that. You knew that. And if somebody would have called them out mm -hmm. on it, you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then maybe it wouldn't have happened it to wouldn't, anyone yeah. else again. Right. Um, there's, uh, when we talk about generational, and I read something the other day, Dr. Vander, Vander, Vander Kalk, he's a trauma specialist, mm -hmm. okay. and he wrote a book called The Body Keeps the Score, mm -hmm. that your body knows when every part of your body can recognize trauma. trauma. And so one of the things talked about generational, uh, making uh, uh, something, he, he didn't say generational, but he said something to the effect that you know he's talking about by generations mm -hmm. and how that travels. And let me give you this, because he said it, and I read another book by Dr. DeGroo, Joy DeGroo, mm -hmm. and it's called PTSS, PTSS. Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome. Oh, slave wow. Syndrome. Yes, you've got to read it. There's the DNA mm -hmm. in us never changes. And this is also goes with something else that I read about. The, in the in the the uh, egg in your grandmother already had um, the egg of your mother or the of, of you, you mm. know. Oh, that's there. What, oh, my so goodness! I got. I yeah, can't. Read, I can't. See that. Read, I got. Yeah. yeah. But there's so by, much already. Mm -hmm. By a drummer, a female drummer, mm -hmm. and she does the drumming, the the ancient drum, mm -hmm. drumming. Mm -hmm. But when Dr. Gruse was doing this is called epigenetics. Okay. And epigenetics is the science of, of looking at the genes in your body okay. and how they operate. And those genes in your DNA that from trauma mm -hmm. and that will wrap around that, that strand and it can be healed because over time, mm -hmm. depending on what you, how, how you are dealing with it, will loosen it. Okay. But meanwhile, you pass that on to the next generation. Mm. Because of the yeah. DNA. Oh my gosh. I said, my God. I'm gosh. <laughs> There's just so much. It's right? a lot. Yeah. So I said, okay. And I read somewhere else the same thing. So some science is picking up on some things that we have taken mm -hmm. yeah. for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. we have put a label on generational curses. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. um, there's the generational curse. Like I said, that you know, if you don't tell it, you know, it didn't yeah. happen. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the fact that there could be something scientific in us, and that they're finding that, and, and that this particular uh, gene wraps around your your DNA. It yeah, doesn't change the that. DNA, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it does constrict it. And so I'd like to read some of yeah. those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Epigenetics. Epigenetics. Mm -hmm. D I G E N E T I C S. Mm -hmm. And I think um, CDC might have something. Okay. Mm. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to look mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. You know, we can sit here for a few <laughs> weeks. <laughs> we can. Just getting all this information because you are full of information. Yes. A you wealth really, of knowledge. Really well, I had to learn because I didn't have. Someone mm -hmm. to talk to. Yeah. And now I, I now I have someone right. now on speed dial. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. She looks like me. <laughs> Therefore, we have something in common. Right. I tell everyone 
that I'm glad people are becoming very aware of Thank God. cultures. Thank yes. you. Mm-hmm. But there's nothing like your own culture that think you can say mm-hmm. that they will recognize. They'll Absolutely. They'll know family. what it is. Right. It's not, it's not racist. No, it's no. not. None of that. No. It just makes common sense. They know. If I they say TT, you know right away. Mm-hmm. My, my daughter-in-law is, is Hispanic, is mm-hmm. pa- uh, Puerto Rican. Mm-hmm. My grandson is past, past is half Puerto Rican is in, um, and black. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. But he's learned some terms from his mother's people. Right. right. So if I say, when you say Tt, mm-hmm. um, your Tt, um, Linda, is right. the name, Tt Linda, and um, he said, oh, Tt Linda, but well, he can recognize that. Mm-hmm. And so when I say it to him. Or when somebody else say it to him, they under- he understands T.T. Right. right. As being auntie. Auntie, mm-hmm. right. Uh-huh, that's it. Yeah. So, but if he's, if his gra- other grandmother says it to him, then they can go into a Hispanic conversation mm-hmm. all together mm-hmm. just with that T.T. <laughs> yes. Right. And it makes all the, the difference sense. in the world. It really does. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to get out of here, Miss Gail. <laughs> we're going to get out of here. We just appreciate you. <laughs> I wish we could just hold on to you right here. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so glad I came. Thank you for the conversation. Of I needed to talk to Oh, yes. We love that. <laughs> yeah, I needed yeah. that. I needed that. Yeah. Aww, we needed it, too. Yeah. I really Because we did. all going through something, mm-hmm. as I said at the intro. Just because you see a smile yes. does not mean everything is okay. Yes. Yeah. And another thing that Dr. DeGru mm-hmm. or one of the other books I read, I could read mm-hmm. four books at the same time. Wow. The same time. Oh, my God. Wow. Because I'm jumping yeah. between mm-hmm. them. But that term strong black woman. Mm-hmm. There's no such. No such thing. There's no such We're thing. We're weak at times, too. And so people put that label on us because they don't see. Yeah, it's true they don't that see that. We, because yeah, we don't portray front. that. Right. Yeah, we We're all wearing line. masks. That's we make right. it look good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, so we're no. going to write about that one. Yes, yes. we need to. So yes, ma'am. We're going to get rid of that strong, <laughs> strong black woman. Yes. Like we did the virtuous woman. That's right. <laughs> in Proverbs 31. You know, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell the audience, tell the viewers how they can contact you. Um, you can contact me a couple of ways. Mm-hmm. One is Gail, G A I L F, mm-hmm. like in Francis, mm-hmm. at Gail F. Gardner mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Facebook, mm-hmm. Gail Francis Gardner. And you might see more than one of us, but mm-hmm. I'm, this is. I'm the real one. Remember this face. She said, right? I'm the real yeah, one. I'm remember <laughs> this face. The other one were old ones I didn't know how to get rid of. <laughs> um, and also Instagram, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Gail uh, Francis, and on on uh, Twitter. Also, mm-hmm. um, my website is www.stillthekingsdaughter.com, mm-hmm. and I would be so glad to hear from you. And my it, just email me, text me if you if you like if you have that uh, capability. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is three two one two zero two three two eight eight. If I see you and I don't put <laughs> answer you only because I can't put a name to it. Right. But if you text me right. and put your name to it and you tell me what mm-hmm. you're needing, I will contact mm-hmm. you back. Awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very good. So Thank you so much yeah. you for being we here. We enjoyed our mm-hmm. conversation. We sure with did. You. <laughs> I liked it. And we wish you nothing but the best. I know you're in school you. trying to get that done. So that's yeah. right. We're getting ready we to get all. on get on that. And um, y'all remember my party? That's oh, that's yeah. right. That's we're, right. We're gonna wait on mm-hmm. that. Yeah. We want to see mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Those save the dates out. That's yeah. right. We want to see you with that crown on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes that yes. Miss Queen. Yes. <laughs> that's our. That's our. Our seventy fifth. My goodness. Baby boomer. Wow. Motown baby. That's right. That's <laughs> yes. right. Baby. That's yes. right. Yes. Time so, to party. Yeah. So, well, and, and I'm excited about that. And God has just been gracious yes, to me. Yes. Yes. I, I, don't, I don't know how to say it anymore. Mm-hmm. And He has been my healer and my deliverer. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm grateful. To and you can him. see the peace. Oh, yes. You, that's for oh, sure. I'm grateful yeah. to Him. Yeah. We wish Thank you all the best. You. Yes, God ma'am. bless you. Thank and may God so continue much. to be- bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this evening. Please join us next Tuesday at 6 p.m. for another amazing guest right here from our community. Gail states, if you are allowed to talk, you're allowed to heal. Every day I get up and I know I am healing. She is a survivor and is a true inspiration. Three decades later, Gail sees a hint of justice. 
Gail's law requires the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to create and maintain a statewide database for tracking sexual assault kits from their point of collection throughout the entire criminal justice process. Even though Gail had this traumatic occurrence, she fought for every person that could not be spoken for. Gail states, we are moving forward towards wholeness. We are real sisters, sharing real stories within our community. We thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk About It, the Candid Conversation Show. Go. Go. Come on, let's have a candid conversation. Let's talk, let's talk about it.